Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on finding the mean for a normal distribution on a Casio Classwiz FX991EX. We have the random variable x which is distributed normally with a mean of mu unknown at this time and a standard deviation of 3.5. Given that the probability that x is less than 30 equals 0.3 we have to find the value of mu so find the value of the mean in this particular case. We're going to use inverse normal from the Casio Classwiz to help us answer this question. So it's menu and seven for distribution. And then we want three for inverse normal. Now the area that we have here refers to the probability that we're given in the example. So in this case, we're gonna input 0.3 in as our area. Now in terms of the X value that we have there, 30, we're actually going to use that in a second part of the calculation. For the mean and standard deviation that we're going to input into the inverse normal, we're going to use the standard distribution, which it is set to by default. As you can see, the standard deviation is one and the mean is zero, which is just the standard normal distribution, which is gonna help us out for this particular question. So we're going to keep those as default, suppress so equals to confirm. Now the value that we have here is the X value for the standard distribution where the probability of being less than this particular value is 0.3 and this is typically known as a z value or a z score which we're going to use with another calculation to be able to find out what the mean of our distribution is so you may have come across the formula to calculate a z value which is your x value subtract your mean value over the standard deviation of the distribution and that will equal your z value it's essentially a way of relating any particular normal distribution to the standard normal distribution. And we can use that to our advantage to find out what the mean is for this particular distribution. Now to help us out, I'm going to store this value in the memory, so store to A, and then we're going to switch to calculate. So it's menu and one for calculate. And we're going to carefully input the formula and we're going to use X, which is the unknown for the mean rather than mu and then use solve, the solve feature, on the Casio Classwiz FX991EX to help us find out what the mean is. So let's set this up as the formula. Start with the fraction button, and then it's 30 minus our mean, which is unknown, so we're going to use X in this case. Navigate to the bottom, and we want to input our standard deviation of 3.5. Navigate right, and then we want equal, so it's alpha, and calc which gives us an equal sign in our formula and then we want our z value so that was stored in a so it's alpha a to recall that and use it as part of our calculation here now we want to solve for the unknown x remember that's representing our mean so it's shift and solve it comes up as zero by default or whatever your previous value of x was if you've done some calculations before this but just press equals at this point to solve for x and you can see here the value that we have come up, 31.84 to two decimal places. Well, that's going to be our mean. So the mean of this particular distribution is going to be 31.84. And we've used the calculation that we'd, we'd use to find uh, Z score Z values in order to be able to help us out with this, getting the score from the inverse normal and using the standard normal distribution with a standard deviation of one and a mean of zero. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos, but that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Calculator Guide.